In the land of Cornfields, Iowa, Bailey was packing up to visit her cousin from California. She was almost finished packing when her mother came into the room and handed Bailey her phone. She answered and heard a familiar voice. Are you almost ready? Pretty close. I have all my clothes packed. All I need to do is add my swimsuit and my Disney pass and I'll be good to go. Well, I think you might need to pack a little more. Bailey rolled her eyes. This wasn't the first time she heard that tone. What else do you think I should bring? SPF 70 sunscreen, a sun hat, and maybe a disposable waterproof camera. I don't think I'll need some of those items. It's not that warm in California right now. Well, you aren't really going to California. What do you mean? Well, for your birthday, my mom bought you and your mom a ticket to go to Italy for the day. Does my mom know? Where in Italy am I going? How am I supposed to see you and Aunt Jenny? Don't worry about it. My mom found a way for us to come on that evening, and we'll all take a plane on the way back to spend the rest of the weekend at our house. I gotta go. My mom just told me I have to finish my homework. Bye! Bailey couldn't believe it. This was the first time she has ever traveled outside of the United States. And in school, she read a book about Italy. She couldn't wait to see famous places and maybe even eat real Italian pizza. So the next morning, Bailey and her mom boarded the plane and flew to Italy. Bailey was too excited last night, so she fell asleep on the plane. She woke up to her mom shaking her shoulder to tell her to look out the window. What she saw was a city lit up by beautiful lights. She noticed a tall circular building and was finally knew where she was. She was in Rome, but where would she go first? I was thinking we should go check into the hotel, and then we'll get well rested before we toured the city. We're going to be doing a lot of walking, so make sure you bring your tennis shoes. Can we tour a little bit of the city tonight? The lights look so pretty. Sure, what did you have in mind? Maybe the Trevi Fountain. My teacher read us a story and the characters were visiting the fountain for a field trip. No problem. We'll go right after and then we'll get to bed because tomorrow will be a long day. So after they arrived and settled into the hotel, Bailey and her mom walked to the Trevi Fountain. As soon as they arrived, Bailey marveled at how huge the fountain really was. She noticed the sea god Poseidon and many horses behind him. This was the largest fountain she had ever seen. Before they went back, she reached into her pocket and held out an Italian coin. After marveling at its unique design compared to her coins back home, she made a wish and threw it into the fountain. Legend has it that by throwing a coin into the Trevi Fountain, the person will return back to Rome one way or another.